Hi, have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate Community Forum thread. The question here is how to auto increment an ID when a new item is added. So there are certain rules we need to follow here. There is a category three choice column here as a drop down menu. When the user select either it's A, B or C, then what we want is we want to increment that you know the record like one, two or three then you know uh, put in this format if the selection is a then it should be a0001 if the, the next record if the selection is b then it should be b002 again the third record if the selection again is b then it should be the next incremented value which is b003 and so and so yeah so for this what i did is i did created a list called products and i do have a auto number and a unique ID. So this is where we are going to update the unique ID values in that specified format. The category here is the single choice column which contains A, B, C or D, okay? I'll show you, show you the my list settings. So under my list settings, you can see here category is a choice and then the unique ID is a single um, line of text. Then I got the auto number which is a number here, okay? right so let's go back and build the flow okay i just turned off the new designer i'm use i'm still using the old designer here okay now um the trigger here we, uh, we want here is the when an item is created first we need to select the site address then the list name list name my list name is called products okay next i'm going to in we want to increment the uh, you know the values now here so uh, let's um, um, declare a variable here called uh, initialize variable and under that we need to i'm just going to name it an increment number okay and that's an integer value okay now the first thing is i'm going to initialize this set variable And I'm going to put the increment value as the first as zero then. Yeah, that's done. The next thing is we we want to find when the user created, you know, um, the first record, second record, or third record. We want to get the last record, find the auto incremented number then. Yeah, this auto number we want to get. Then only we can increment to the next number. So the technique we need to do here is we need to go back to the share uh, SharePoint connector again, which is a get items. Okay, and here what we want to do here is we want to select the site address again. Then the products, which is my list name is called products. Okay, click on the show advanced options. Then under the filter query, this is a technique we need to do. We need to put auto number, that's my column name. So here we go, auto number, that's my column name. It's case sensitive, you need to be, you need to give exactly the same as, you know, the um, the spelling should be, spelling and the cases should be exactly the same, yeah. Then uh, say auto number greater than zero. Because if I want something should be there, then only I can increment it, you know. So, and then how to get the last uh, created value, that is created, there's a created column there that contains the date. So you can see here created. Then I'm going to say descending order. Then give me the top count as one then. So that gives me the very last record which the user created. Okay, so that's the technique. So the auto number should be greater than zero. So that means when an item is created, that auto number for the current one, it is going to be blank. It's going to be null. But what I am saying here is, I want the auto number greater than zero. So basically, I'm getting the second last record which the user created. You know, that, that's that's what this technique is all about. So put the auto number greater than zero, then create a description, uh, created uh, by the by the descending order. Yeah. Okay. Now, the sec uh, next thing we want to do here is we want to check is this returned any value or not. Okay. So for that, I'm going to add an if condition here. And then I need to use an expression. I'm going to use I'm, I'm going to use this expression here. Okay, the expression I just copied there is this. 
length of output of the you know the get items body value okay so it means coming uh, is in a recorder you know from the get items filter query which we set you know that's what this length i'm finding out is equal to zero means i don't have any records that means very first time when we you know add the records there is nothing will be there then so in that case it's very straightforward the increment number should be one then so just use set variable there we go set variable increment the number to one that's done okay the next thing what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add a combos here so if it's if it is no means hey we got that last uh, you know the record which contains that auto number the second last record of this you know so here what i'm what i'm doing here is i i need to add a another um, expression here which is the add add expression here i need to do so under the add we want to specify the apply to each loop uh, in the auto number one i'll tell you in a minute why it is oh no 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 sorry under the expression uh, i need the auto number first so select the auto number from the get items there we go that's put that in a loop so then copy this auto number here like that just copy it highlight and copy it and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to paste that here remove that curly brackets around it we don't want that and put the add expression so that number i want to add but this is a number and the, and the number the other one is a numeric um, value here so i need to put an int here to convert it integer convert to integer otherwise you are going to get an error comma one this is the expression i want okay i'm going to put the, put that under the add and not here it is okay so add integer items apply to each order number to one okay and that, then again the final one is set variable And then get the output so increment number increment number is now the output of the latest uh, you know this combos there we go that's it so if there are no records set it to one otherwise we are converting that to end that auto number because it's a number numeric here the auto number is a number it doesn't like it it's going to give an error so to cover that we're going to put we are using an expression called int then using the incremented value as one that's it so that's done so i'm going to minimize all this if condition now then the final step is we need we need to set the unique id then so add a compose again okay we can rename this to unique id oops i can't type <laughs> unique id here it is and then here i'm going to use another expression so before that remember i need to collect the category uh, you know what the user selected a b or c or whatever it is so that means i need to use the uh, category so category uh, coming from the category value coming from my trigger that's someone user uh, that's the latest record okay now the format i need to use so for that i need to use uh, expression and type format number so what number it is the number is our variable name go to the dynamic and select the increment uh, you know the number then how many digits of zeros we want put capital d and four that's it that's the technique there okay so let me put this also under the notes it's best, pra best practice always so that is a good documentation as well here it is so that means i want four zeros uh, just before that you know uh, well four zeros is the maximum so if it's um, starting with one means zero 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 one zero 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 two like that you know along with the category value also now this is the easiest part now which is the update item okay so under the update again select the sharepoint address then the list name we want is the products and search for the id here and i'm going to search the id which is coming from my trigger there you go when an item is created that id we want and then here uh, oops let's make it blind that we don't want to select anything there yeah now we want to what we want to update here is the unique id yeah so find the unique id here and uh, up output here we go that unique id output here it is okay now what we want to do here is update for matter unique id 
There we go. That's my eighth one now. Save it. Right. I'm going to run my flow now. Click on the test manually and test now. Right. Okay. So I'm going to add the record now here. New product one. Let's select category C then. Okay. Okay. Now hopefully my flow should run now. There we go. Everything run okay. So let's see this. So very first time this, there are no records. Remember the second last record we want because my query is my auto number is greater than zero. There are no records and created by descending order and top count is one. Nothing there. So increment it by one. Sorry, they set it to one. Unique number. Here we go. The format is good. Zero 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 one. Then updating the record. That means if I go back to my SharePoint, refresh my list, I should be able to see my unique ID C001. Here we go. That's it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to uh, set the auto number. Mm, okay. Let me edit this. <laughs> uh, otherwise, it's going to mess up. Auto number also I need to update. Okay. So, so for that, what I need is go back to the edit. I forgot to set the auto number here, is it? So the auto number here is the increment, uh, the increment number. Here we go. That's the variable also we want. Okay. Right. I'm going to add the next one here. I just added that, um, you know. Um, okay. Let me delete this. Um, <laughs> okay. Delete that. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Click on the test. And run again. Okay, product P1, select B as my category, save it, that's it. Then let's wait for the flow to run. Okay, my flow is running, everything looking good here. Let me refresh it and see everything updated or not correctly. Hopefully it is. Oops, I think it's a refresh issue, I think. Refresh it again. It should be there. Here we go, B0011. I'm going to add my next record here, which is called P2, product 2. This time I'm going to select category A then, okay, and uh, save it. There we go. So it should be A002 and auto increment by 2 then, yeah. Okay, let me refresh it again and see it's updated or not. Every, oops, no. Let me go back to the run history of my flow. Let's see my flow is running. Um, that's my old one, I think. It's not, it's not it. Okay, let's see. It should run in any minute. Okay, here it is. The flow is running now. Right, that's done. Let's go back, refresh that page again. See, it's A002 now. I'm gonna run another one now. So let's put product P3. This time I'm going to select uh, C again. Save it. Oh, okay. First time I'm selecting C now. Yeah, okay. C now. And uh, let's see the flow now. Right. Flow running now. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Let me refresh it. No, here it is. See that? That's working fine now. I'm going to add one more record. Uh, that is again P4. Let me select um, A again and save it. So it should be uh, A and here the auto number should be 4. Then should be A0004. Yeah. That's a uh, recipe we are looking for. So meantime, I'll look the last run record here. Um, behind the scene, we'll see what's happened here. So you can see here under the get items, it find the record, which is greater than zero with the created descending with the top count. So the if condition is uh, false because it's greater than zero, then the condition, there is a record here. So it goes, goes to uh, uh, find the auto incremented value now, which is three. And then um, it uh, set the value there as three then. 
and finally comes to the unique id format which set it to 0003 c003 then finally update the item using the you know the id coming from the trigger when an item is uh, created so let's go back and see the flora and not. Uh, maybe I think let's see yeah it's, it's fine now see that that's a 004 a and 4 yeah so this is the technique we need to use it here you know the key here is to remember here is that um, that get items is that uh, is the key one here the get items here see the get items filter query is the auto number greater than zero that's very very important here and also the created by the created date by descending order which is desc then the top count okay so this this way you can get the uh, the second last record you know because you want to skip the current record then find the previous record which is that okay one more important thing i forgot is let me go back to the old designer okay so one important thing is um, if you got too many users creating uh, in the products, then what you need to do here is go to the settings. So you can see here there is something called con con concurrency control. That means limit number of con concurrent runs of the flow um, or leave it off to run as many as possible at the same time. We don't want that because then we are going to mess up our last, you know, the created descending one is going to mess up. So what, we, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this on. And set the degree of parallelism to one then that means at a time this can only run one at a time the rest everything will be queued up you know so that means we are going to get our calculation will be uh, will be correct then every time when we do this finding the last value then increment by one this cal calculation should be correct then otherwise it won't be so it's quite important here to set this you know remember under the settings turn the concurrency control limit on and set the degree of parallelism to one okay so that's another one important thing to remember hope this video is useful thank you for watching